My name's Will Muir, and I'm the CEO of Equal Community Foundation. In that gender gap, that's the, the inequality between men and women. Over the last 25 years, billions of dollars, concerted effort from the public sector and the private sector and the social sector, that gap hasn't closed significantly. The risk is that if we don't start to engage men, we'll be here in 25 years' time. My name is Rajuta Teredesai. I work as program manager at Equal Community Foundation. They've always seen their fathers, the other men in the community, behaving in a certain way in terms of being violent, being aggressive, and this is what they learn. So what we do is provide them with an alternative pattern of behavior. I came to India for the first time in 2006. I had been working in London for six years as a consultant in corporate responsibility. Sitting at my desk in London, I realized that I wanted to travel and work abroad. So my wife and I decided that we would go and live in India, where she had been working for the past five years on and off. In 2008, I was investigating community development. And what I realized was that men were a critical factor in gender equality, but were simply not engaged by the social sector. I investigated the concepts, realized it was feasible, and just quit my job hung up my boots in the corporate sector and started this enterprise. We set up film evenings and we got men through the door and we started to talk to them and we recognized that these guys simply don't have a space, they don't have um, any opportunity to discuss their role in society, uh, their role in women's lives. With the help of mentors, through the training events, the men come up with something called as a personal action plan. This is what they use to monitor their behavior. They think, okay, this is something that I need to change within me. My name is Milin. My name is Milin. I have been working in the house for a long time, and I have been working in the house for a long time, and I have been working in the house. One of our advocates, after being in training for about six weeks, came to one of our mentors and confessed that he had assaulted his mother recently and in the past. After attending the session on gender and violence, he said, I know what I did was wrong and I'm going to stop it. We are currently working on one area, domestic violence, and the program is called Action for Equality. We partner with four community-based organizations in Pune and we're building their capacity to take that program on and deliver it themselves. I'm Dr. Neela Onavle. I'm the founder of Deepra Society. I thought this was a good opportunity for us to get involved in another sector and with more focus on young men. Uh, we are getting a very encouraging response and I'm sure we'll be reaching many more young people uh, with the help of ECF. Equal Community Foundation is a non-profit. We derive revenue from three main areas. The first is a corporate training program. We expect it to bring in about 10 to 15% of our income in 2011-2012. The second is uh, services to the social sector. And the third is philanthropy, donations and grant funding. Over the next one year, we would open 12 new centres with the help of community-based organisations across India. And in the next five years, this is the way we plan to expand. As a result of the communications and planning work that we've done with Unlimited India, before the 1st of April 2011, we'd raised 50% of our budget for the finance year 2011-2012. And that was as a result of good communication, so that our donors know what we're doing and what we're asking for. I think the non-financial support has been extremely useful because the exposure we get, I mean meeting with different people and inputs in terms of governance, in terms of ne next five year plans, just helping us structure. It's just yeah. been invaluable. <laughs>